What's up guys, Slayer to Gamer here, also known as General Kenobi. And today we are going to be hunting. Um, uh, the game is The Hunter, Call of the Wild, and that's pretty much all of it. Let's let's get into it. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and be very transparent about this. I use cheats in this game. Or well, they're not really cheats, they're more of, um, yeah, I guess they are cheats. Um, essentially the cheats I use are not, um, game-breaking ones, although the program I do use has them. All I use are money cheats, which allows me to have, um, a lot of money. I also use a unlimited, um carry weight cheat to make it to where I can carry everything on me so I don't have to stop at outposts a lot. Um, the only time I have to stop at an outpost is to actually buy something. Um, but those are the cheats I use. Um, I also leveled up myself a few times, and by a few times I mean 150 times. Um, not that that really does anything. I thought it would, but it doesn't. Um, occasionally I do use an unlimited health cheat, but that's just so I can kind of eat myself around. And the last one I use is a speed cheat. I use that when I'm trying to get to place to place and I don't feel like taking an ATV. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, but right now, I don't know what I'm hunting, actually. I'm kind of, I kind of just had time to record, so I thought I'd just hop in. Alright, so there we go. There's something. Um, a mountain goat. Um, he's about 284 meters away. Um, I could probably hit him. Um, he's a level 4, and I have a nice little chart here that tells me what guns I have and what levels. So, the Solokin MN 1890 frontline I have right here is, a, it can be from level 3 to level 7. He's a level 4, so this is directly in that category of uh, things I can shoot. So, I'm going to have it out. But I don't want to shoot from this far away yet. I, I want to get a little bit closer. Um... It's a little male mountain goat. No, no, nothing special, really, but, you know, it's something to start off for day. So the first thing we want to do is we want to try to sneak a little closer. This far out, it doesn't matter. We can... Oh. We can stand. Um, now that he's looking back at us, I think I'll lay down. Try to crawl a bit closer. I don't know if he can see us. I doubt he can, but better safe than sorry. It's the sound of an eagle. The freedom bird. Once I get within 100, I think I'll take the shot. One thing I wish they would add to the game is, like, bipods. Um, they can rest your gun on, obviously. I think that'd be better for some longer range shooting. Um, but, I don't know, that's just something. Alright. We're almost within the range I want to kind of shoot in at. So, uh, here we go. Alright, this is a good spot right here. Uh, it really doesn't matter how close I am. Yeah, just just shy. All right, so let's get our solo kin out here. Um, I don't know what this thing is ranged for, so let's check that real fast. Let's go to skills here. Um, I need my ranging skill. I forget. Or perk? Is it a perk? It is a perk. Yep. Activate. 
Alright, right now I'm at 150 if we do. Alright. So I'll have to aim just a little bit low. Tracks are my go to high. source for insight into animals in the region. Species, number, yeah, mood. You can learn a lot about them before you've ever spotted anything. Alright. So there's that. Now this is one of those times where I'll just smack this sheet on, um, and I'll just kind of speed walk over to where I, I shot this guy at. Alright. So, we'll actually check what this area is. It's an eating zone. Bagging a Rocky Mountain goat is a challenge even for experienced hunters. Like bighorn sheep, they tend to stick to mountain faces above the timberline where they're difficult to pick off. Try scouting them when they graze the meadows during the daytime. Um. Well. That might be the one I shot. Um. I don't know where his tracks are. All of these tracks are going downwards, so let's take a look at our handy dandy map here. I'd say, you know, Hunter running after it um, doesn't seem like, seems like a little hecking. Might be right. Might be hecking. Maybe taking the game for advantage. But, uh, doesn't matter. Alright, so we got it. I didn't know if we were going to get that thing or not. That's a pretty good shot, all things considered. So let's go ahead and taxidermize that guy. Alright. Alright, so, I'll leave that one up there alone, because I, I did find it in a not-so-great means. So, uh, yeah. So we've already killed an animal here, um, so we want to move, of course. So, um, I think we'll move over to these plains, um, that area over there. See what we got going on. Um. Dinosaur Hill. I think... I think I've killed something up here before. On my map, I can't remember what I did kill, though. I... I don't know. Um, but yeah, right now I'm playing online. Uh, not for really any reason any in particular. I kind of just hopped on. Um, usually in this game it doesn't matter if you're online or not, because people don't really... interact much. Alright, so we got an elk right there. Um, not bad. He's pretty far. Um, for him, he's a level 8. Um, so what we're going to need is um, our, our drilling rifle, our miller, or, uh, or our 50. Cap lock. So we'll, we'll use the cap lock on him. Because I have that in my inventory. But I might show you guys the cheat program later on. It is pretty interesting. Um, and you can definitely break the game. I've broken the game before on the, the cheat engine. Um, I kind of just ran around with a shotgun, or nothing could uh, find me, and I just shot him with shotguns. It was it was fun, but it wasn't hunting, you know. Um, but he just threw up a warning call. Um, he might, he probably notices me, or he hears me, or something. 
I mean, there he is right there. Um, because I'm pretty sure they have good eyesight. Um, so we'll try to keep this tree in between us. Um, yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't hurt if we threw on some spray. Better gun back out here. Um. Our cap lock here. We'll range it to a hundred. Cause I'm pretty sure he doesn't have that very much. It doesn't have as much range. Um, but my cap lock is loaded with mini balls or mini balls. Um, depends on whether you're French or not. If you say it right, pretty much. Um, and. Uh, Oh, okay. Alright. Alright, so we're stopping there to eat. This is good for us. We're gonna... Pull out our... Alright, so that's a mating call. So that's not anything we have to worry about. I thought there might be two of them, but I guess there's not. Um, I thought well, there might have been. It doesn't look like there is, so it's just going to be me and this elk here. I'll just kind of sneak through this brush, try not to be too loud. Alright, so there's that bad boy. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get a long or a hard shot on him, uh, but for usually I end up getting hard shot or long shots. I don't know. I just never seem to be able to get a good hard shot. Alright, so there he is. I'm going to look at this real fast. Inventory. Um, effective range 200 so we're definitely within that effective range so we're gonna we're just gonna we're gonna go for it how, how do you how about that yeah, we're gonna wait for him to put his head up that way I can see into his chest if he does not, that is going to provide us a problem because we're trying to go for that heart shot from the front. Which is the easiest way to do it, mind you. And there we go. Alright. He's hit. I aimed high. I do know that. Um, at this point here, I want to look around to make sure I'm okay. I didn't... I didn't do this earlier because I knew I was clear, but I'm going to pull out my bear gun here. Um, because this is an area that there are bears in, so we want to be careful. We want to have our big game gun out when we're moving around like this. Alright, so... Is... Gonna be right around here somewhere. I mean, I should be like right here. Alright, so that's why we have this gun out, because that's a cougar. Um, that is bad news bears for us. And I cannot find this tr blood trail. Or any trail for that matter. Um, Alright, I'm pretty sure she's pissed off. So for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw health on. Um, Alright, I just threw health on. 
Uh, because right now I'm kind of confused as to where um, those tracks went. <laughs> what is I know he ran off this way. Interestingly, the tracks start, there's tracks that just start right here, and that were nowhere else. Um, so we're going to go on a gamble here and say this is our animal, and these are the tracks we need to follow. Maybe. Probably not. Alright. So, what... Uh, I don't really know what happened. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Back down here to where we shot from. We were right here. It's... He was right there. So we're going to run to right here. And there's not a single print around. And he ran off this way. I do remember saying that. Um. Yeah, this is interesting. Turkeys. But we're not hunting turkeys. We're hunting an elk that I've already shot. So I'm guessing what has happened is that there was some kind of desync in the server or something, or I was a little bit laggy, and when I shot, either the animal was not actually there, or something. Um... And I, I just didn't hit him. That's my guess. Um, I don't know. Probably wrong. I'm just going to look around here for a minute. Uh, see if we can see anything. I did hear a bear. Um, but I'm not going to shoot him while I'm running around. That's just, that's just cheap. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to make a video out of that at least. Okay, I just saw... Right, so, we have a cougar. Or a mountain lion. Whichever you'd like to use term-wise. Over this way. We have a bear over that way. There she is. They definitely saw me earlier. Um, I'm kind of curious as to what was going on with the uh, that sheep over there, the bighorn, because uh, it was just kind of sprinting around. I don't know. Anyways, I'm kind of disappointed about that elk because I thought I had a good shot on him. I guess the server just desynced or something, so. At this point, I, uh, here's the funny thing, it showed that I hit it, okay, you know what, here's what we're going to do. It acts like I did kill it, because it only makes that, that brown mark and stuff when you've actually hit the animal. Yeah, this is exactly where he was, and there's zero tracks. There's a turkey. And then he ran off this way. So I'm just genuinely confused about this.
so um, I'm hedging my bet on this is the one we're looking for right here wherever he is at it's not him I'll genuinely be surprised I'm just gonna sneak through here like this I know I hit him. Or at least I'm 99% sure that I hit him. Oh. Oh. Alright, this time we're going to just immediately go for it. That's a decent... Okay, so now it's showing. No, those aren't even his tracks. Interesting. Alright. We got him, though. There's a turkey. Hello, turkey. There's a bay. <laughs> uh, yeah. Very cool. I'm gonna get this out. Okay, so this bear comes back. Anyways, that's a pretty dang good animal, and of course I miss the heart like usual, but let's taxidermize him, and let's get on with it. Alright, so once again, gotta move. Uh, I'm still extremely confused as to what happened, because that elk there was not the same as that elk, because the elk up there was a white one. This one is a brown one. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think we'll fast travel down here now. And we'll probably hunt one more animal before we, uh, we exit out of this video. Or at least we'll try to, try to hunt one more. Now, if I remember correctly, this is a area where turkeys are at. Um... could always hunt a turkey. Walk on through here. And I also believe there's bison down that way. I recall walking down this road one time and uh, seeing some. So we got a track here. We'll check this out. It's a, it's a poop of some kind. And it just despawned. Very, very epic. Pretty sure that was turkey poop anyways. Um, so yeah. Alright, so you know what we're going to do? We have calls. We have that thought. Alright, so our solo can here is definitely a able to take down a pronghorn, and it is also within that chart there. 
he's in that four category. Um, so, and the Sullican takes down three to seven. So we are plenty good. We're gonna see if we can bag us a pronghorn now. Now I do know pronghorn have very, very excellent high or uh, eyesight, and they're also fast. Um, easily spooked, pretty much. And once you spook them, it's hard to get them because they just zoom off. Um, I think they're the fastest land animal in North America, I think. I think that's the record they hold. Um, there he is. Alright. We won't zoom after him this time, because he's dead anyways. Although, interestingly enough, it did not drop tracks again. Um, so there's a very good chance that I did kill that elk earlier, but it just didn't put tracks down. Um, but that's a pretty darn good shot, if I must say. So we're going to tax or demise him, and we're going to cut this off here.